Hello everyone. If you are a part of HR department and want to track and manage job applicants throughout the hiring process, then creating a recruitment tracker is the best option for you. Moreover, it gives a record of all applications received which gives easy access to applicant information, resumes and the relevant documents to enhance the efficiency of the hiring process. So, this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a recruitment tracker in Excel. Our target is to create a recruitment tracker similar to the tracker we're showing on the screen. Here we have the relevant applicant informations along with the funnel and donut chart. For describing the whole tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. Here we have got the job title, the name of the owner, and we want to get the recruitment tracker report in between 1 January 2023 to 1 March 2023. Here we have got the proper application information headers in this section. At first, we need to insert the proper application information in between these cells. After inserting all the values, the data range will look like this. Now, we need to convert it into a table. So, we have selected the range in between A14 to H24. Press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard to get the Create Table dialog box. Now, tick on My Table Has Headers and click OK to convert it into a table. Suppose you want to get a proper name here, then go for the table design and in the table name section, write down the name according to your wish. Suppose I want to get the name applicant info, so write down apply info here as the table name and press the enter button. So I've got the proper table here. Now I want to go for the next step where I want to get the applicant's ID here. You'll select the C7 cell, go for the data tab and in the data tool section, you'll go for the data validation to open the data validation dialog box. In the settings section, you'll go for the allow and here you can select any of the sections, but as you are trying to get the list, so you'll select the list here and as source, you'll select the value of A15 to A24 and click OK to get the drop down list here. Go for the drop down list and choose any of the ID you want to show here. Suppose you want to get the 3304, then select it and it will be shown in the C7 cell. Now you want to get the status of the chosen rule. To do that, we need to go for the C9 cell and insert the VLOOKUP function. So we'll go for the VLOOKUP function, which will basically look for a leftmost value of a certain case in a certain data area. Then we'll move on for the lookup value, which is in the C7 cell. After that, we'll move on for the table array, which is in the A14 to G24 cell. After that, we'll move on for the column index number as we're trying to get the six column as the return value. So we're going to get the six value. We have chosen the six because we need to get one, two, three, four, fifth, six value as our return value. So we'll get it here. And after that, we want to get the exact match. So we'll go for the false and now we'll click the enter button. So I've got the perfect result. Now, if you change it, then you will see that you have got the result according to your wish. To get the total applicants long in the B11, you will go for the counter function. So write down the counter function, which counts the number of the cells in a range that are not empty. So we'll go for the value one as we're trying to get the result from the applicants ID. So we'll call the table here which we have named in the previous section so we'll go for apply and excel is showing us so we'll select it now we'll go for the third bracket so we'll use it and we'll call the applicants id headers so we'll go for it and then we'll close it down and with the closing parenthesis we'll click the enter button so i've got the perfect result here you can easily find the total days to hire by going into c11 cell and now you'll select the c6 and then subtract C5 from it. If you press the enter button, you'll get the perfect result here. In this tracker, the company have total four levels of hiring process, level one, two, 
interview and offer. Now we need to fulfill the column age with the help of these levels to know which applicants in which level. We'll go for the age 15 cell and insert the if function. The if function checks whether a condition is met and returns the true value and otherwise it will show the false. So as logical test we'll call our first column header logical date. So we'll go for the third bracket and use the calling of the offer date and after that we'll close it down and compare it with the greater than zero value and if it is true then it will show the i7 cell that means offer and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard so we have fulfilled our first condition after that if it is false then we'll use the same kind of formula for everything so we'll copy it down and paste it here for the next sections also and to show it we'll go for the formula bar to make it perfectly visual for you guys so i'll paste it down here and now we'll change it a little bit here we want to get the same thing for the interview so we'll close it down and select the interview date and if it is true then we'll select the i6 as the return value we can do the same for the level 1 and level 2 also so we'll again change it down and we'll select the level 2 and make it the i5 as it is in the i5 section then we'll go for the level 1 so we'll go for the level 1 selection and make it i7 to i4 and after that we have got the perfect formula here if we press the enter button then we have got the perfect result now use the fill handle to get the result for every cell now we have fulfilled the levels for every applicants now we are trying to get a dynamic tracker along with the help of this h column and we'll also try to make the funnel and donut chart with the help of those so you need a new worksheet called recruitment levels and here we have stages applicant count and recruitment levels we'll go for the c5 cell and insert the count if function count if function is used if we need a proper counting along with a certain condition then we'll go for the range as we have already named the table in the previous worksheet application info so I'll select it and to call the proper column we'll use the bracket and here we'll select the levels we have just created in the previous step and after that we'll move on to our criteria section which is in the b5 cell if we click the enter button then we'll get our perfect result if we use the fill handle option then we'll get the perfect result here we'll try to make a donut chart along with the help of the column b and c so select b4 to c8 values go for the insert tab and in the chart section you'll go for insert pi or donut chart select the donut chart to create a donut chart here now if you want the data labeling then go for the data labels ticket and go for the more options to open the format data labels as we are trying to get the percentage so I'll tick on it and untick the value here now we have got the perfect result here here you can go for the home tab and you can change the font size according to your wish to make it visually more attractive now we have created the applicant count donut chart here. We want to show the recruitment levels participation in each stage. So we'll go for the D5 cell and insert the sum function. Sum function basically sum up all the range of cells. So I'll select our value here which is in the C5 cell. And for the next section we want to get the value from C8 cell as it is the highest value. And to make it permanent we'll use F4 in the keyboard. If we press the enter button then we'll get our perfect result now use the fill handle to get the same result for every cell but as we're trying to get the hierarchy so we'll select the d4 to d8 cell press the control and then select b4 to b8 cell now go for the insert tab and in the chart section you'll go for the insert waterfall funnel stock surface or other chart if you click on it then you'll find the funnel chart if you click on it then you've got the perfect result here you can easily set the title according to your wish after proper naming the data set will look like this so that's how you have created funnel chart and donut chart in excel 
if we want to change the chart design then select on the chart go for the format and here in the shape fill section select no fill and then go for the shape outline and select no outline you can do the same for the recruitment levels also select the chart go for the format and as shape fill you'll select again no fill and as shape outline you'll again select the no outline now if you copy both the recruitment and account then you will press ctrl plus c and then go for the recruitment tracker and press them by using ctrl plus v in the keyboard now you want to level them according to your wish if you get them then they will look something like that now you have got the proper result after that you can easily change them according to your wish to make it visually more attractive to your audience so that's how we have created the recruitment tracker in excel so that's it for today you can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this